Get our buddies, another early status quo classic, Technicolor Dreams. So we'll start by looking at the chords. On the intro, it's just an A chord. I'm playing. Now it's actually two guitars, so one guitar is chugging away on the lower strings. With a slightly heavier sound, and another guitar does a stab on the fourth beat. But you can just kind of, if you've just got one guitar doing the rhythm, you can just go. Just mute the bottom strings and chug away. Then just hit all the strings. Okay, so you got that. Okay, and then in the verse, the chords are D, A, E, B, D, A, E. And then we repeat, but we do a little chromatic passing chord to get back to the D. So, so D, A, E, B, D, A, E. Move that down one fret, then to the D. And it's D to A again, E, B, D, A, and E. Just stay on the E this time, and then we're into the chorus, which is C sharp minor. A, E. And again. So you've got that twice, and then you just repeat the verse and chorus. Then you're back into the intro, a shorter version. Okay, so you play the intro again after repeating the verse and chorus. Then we've got a bridge section. So we jump from that A to a C sharp minor for a bar. To a B. To A. One hit on the B, back to C sharp minor. So we're just going C sharp minor, B, A. Fourth beat was so a one, two, three. B, C sharp minor for a bar. And then another bar of C sharp minor. To B. Then C sharp minor. So you've got one, two, E, B, back to C sharp minor. Okay, that's that bridge section. And then we're going into a key change. So we've got. Chorus again, but this time instead of the first chord being minor, it's major. It's now E major to C to G. And again. And now we've got. So we've got the verse chords, but now we're in the key that started on F. So we've got F to C to G to D, F to C to G, and again. F, C, G, and then it fades out on back to E, E, C, G, E, C, G. Okay, so that's the chords, and then on the intro we've got this lead part. So I'm starting with a slide from E to E. So I'm starting on two on the D string to 14 on the D string. Then Little trill, D, E, D, it's hammer pull, 12, 14, 12, to C sharp on 11, then, then we've got 11, 12, 11, again hammer pull, 7, A, then another hammer pull, 7, 9, 7, A, B, A, back to C sharp on 11, and then again, start again, Lead 
just play that C sharp more times, leading into the verse. There's a few little licks, for example, on the chorus, we've got just on the that E chord, we've got G sharp to A, 13 uh, to 14 on the G string, and then also put the topping in on G sharp to A, again 13 to 14, E on 12, back to 13, and a little fill on, you'll see that on the playthrough, it's just a B minor pentatonic fill. We're playing B, D, B, B, D, E, D. So 9, 7, 9, 7, 9, 7 on G string. Starting on the D string. Land on that E. Okay, so that's just another little fill there. And then you've basically got uh, sort of a repeat of the repeat and then we've got the um, the intro repeats again and then on that G chord at the end so we're now in the there's little fills little fills around B flat B and C yeah stuff like that so it's just 11 12 and 13 a bit like the third man. Okay, so 11, 12, 13. Okay, little fills uh, you'll see on the playthrough. But that's basically uh, the guitar part. We'll take a look next at the bass. On the bass, I had lived a few of the fills, but you got all the main bits in. We're starting with... Okay, on the intro, we've got A, E, G, 5, 7, 5 on the E, A and D strings. And just before we go into the verse, I'll put another little fill in. So I did E, A, E, C sharp. That C sharp's a nice leading tone. Get to the D, a semitone leading up to the D, which is the first chord of the verse. So I was playing seven, 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 four. Okay. On the A and D strings. And then We've got D on 5 on the A string, to A on 7 on the D string, to E on 7 on the A string, and then... So on this B chord, it always plays a little fill, and the fills are based around the B minor pentatonic. So they're always using these notes of E, F sharp, A, B, D, E. So any little fill you use with these notes is going to fit, okay? So, so it usually starts with the B note there, so something like that, or okay, so so whatever fill you choose to put in, so I did something like that the first couple of times. So you always start on a B and land on that D because that's the root of the B chord that we're playing and that's the next bar, the D chord. So, so anything you get that starts here, lands there. So it's gonna work. Okay, so that's your, that's your scale to put some fills in on that B chord. Okay, and then it just repeats. Then, so this time we've got two bars of E, so I'm just doing, playing the E, but also the B as the fifth. So I'm putting a fill in there of five on the E string. So the E's on seven on the A string, and your, your fifth note, the B, is on seven on the E string. And we're going back to the D, so we can go a little chromatic passing tone of seven, six, Five E E flat D. So. And now we're going into the chorus. So again, we've got that E and, and B there. And 
leading into the chorus, we've got a little chromatic A, A sharp, B. Seven, eight, nine. Okay, so here on the chorus, we're going from a C sharp, B to A. So I've got that little Lloyd up. 11, 9, 7. And on that A, we've got a little fill. We're playing E, A, F sharp. Ba -da -da -da. Down back to the E. So 9, 7, 9. Or the G, D, and A strings. And then again, E, that, that fifth note, E. And the second time, a little extra note, I'm playing C sharp, G sharp. Then going to the B, so 11, 13, 11. Down to the B, so. Then, then from that B down to the A, and that's the same. E, A, F sharp, E, that we played before. Then you can put a little thing there, of B in there, or 9, if you want to. But then you're just going into basically a repeat. And the second time I played the chorus, I, I put that in each time. back into the intro just a shorter version of the intro and then we've got the bridge section so the bridge section I'm just I'm basically playing we've got a C sharp to a B to an A so on the C sharp I'm just playing okay just ad-libbing some fills using root fifth root so four six and six on the A D and G strings Then on the B chord, two, four, and four, B, F sharp, B. Then I just sort of play an A, open A, B a passing tone, back to the C sharp. Again, putting the old spills on six and six, down to four. And then just repeating the C sharp, B, and C sharp. Um, so then we've got C sharp, then E, uh, so C sharp, E, B, back to C sharp. So what I played there was two C sharps, a nice little fill was to go the chords, so E, G sharp, B, so four, four, seven, six, nine, then come E, F sharp, so B, F sharp, B. So you've got an E, G sharp, B, B, F sharp, B. So you're outlining an E chord there and a B chord there. So Okay. So that's that bridge section. And then we're into the outro chorus. We're in a different key now. We've got E. Play an E. To C, seven to three, to a G, and again put the little fills in that G if you want to, or uh, just five and five. Again, then then we're kind of into a like the verse again, but now in the key of F. So we've got F, C, G, and then just fills like we did before so so we've got 8 to 8 F to, F to C to G on 10 so on A string to E string to 10 on the A string again and again on that D chord you can put a fill in just like we did with the B chord but now we're 3 frets up so the notes you can use if you want to do a fill it's very close to the end anyway so 
Um, but we've got uh, 10, 12, 10, 12, 10, 12. Okay. Uh, G, A, C, D, F, G. And back into. And that's where it fades out. Okay, great track. And as always, buddies, thanks for watching.